Hi there and welcome to this video where I am decorating some red heart wood with a flag and land of the free. I am going to just use black, or I'm sorry, blue and white since the wood is already red and I feel like it will pop nicely. So I'm just taking my bright white and my blue, stirring them up, squeegeeing them in like you always see me do. Um, one mistake you're gonna see when I lift my land of the free is I did not let it completely dry in between. And when our chalk paste dries hard, um, it will stay down. But since it was still wet, it came back up off of the land of the free. And you're gonna see my stars got ruined, but I will show you. All you do is um, wash out the silk screen, make sure it's dry, because if you re-wet the chalk, of course, it'll come up. So you make sure the transfer is dry and then go ahead and squeegee back through it. So here you see I was drying it, but that thick blue was not dried all the way. So when I squeegee in the black land of the free, uh, it's not quite showing up the way I want it to. Another thing I found out when I was doing this is the black chalk didn't show up very well on the dark blue. So I did change the dark blue to a more of an iris and um, that helped it pop a little bit. And then I really felt it needed something more. So um, I went back over it with a red chalk. So it was just a black shadowing. So here we go. You're gonna see the ugly, ugly stars. Oh my goodness, my heart broke when I saw that. But being chalk, I know how easy it is to fix. So I just cleaned up my transfer, uh, dried it really, really well, lined it back up so that I could lay the stars back down again. And so here I lay these down. And one thing to keep in mind is you don't want the chalk to dry in the silk screen because like I said earlier, it does dry hard and it will come back up in the silk screen. You're gonna see that in that little tiny section right there. Um, so I did go back and fix that after I'd washed it out again. So here it is completely dried. I walked away and let it dry for a while. And fuzz, 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 that is the thing. I did not fuzz as well as it was still a little wet, so it really messed it up. So making sure I did not make that mistake again, I did fuzz the bejeebers out of that thing. And then I went ahead in there with the black and fixed what I did so none of the blue came up. And I just had to repair where that the blue flag was. Everything else was fine. So there we go. Next shot, you're going to see it is in red because I decided after I'd stopped the video, I like it better in red. And I have plywood that I used um, a little pattern for and cut out a star. I sanded down the edges and you see here I'm going to do a blue stain. I really like this because it dries faster than paint. Our chalk paste, like I said multiple times, dries hard. So I'm just taking a little water to water it down and I'm using a wet paper towel to brush it on. And the more layers you put on there, the darker it is. And like I said, dries fast. Boom, done. Now I'm able to glue on some raffia that I found and loved. And I had drilled holes in this and added some beads to hang it by. And I really felt it needed something. So I decided to add a star to the hanger. And I'm gonna trim up the raffia so that it is not covering up my beautiful sign. And then of course the star looks a little plain. So out comes our transfer that says USA. Comes off of a set of 12 and it's $14.99 in the store squeegeeing in the white chalk paste and then I went ahead and sealed that as well with the same stuff I sealed the sign with and here's the finished product let me know what you think in the comments thanks for joining